Why we measure EVM? Uh, EVM is, is a, a quite modern uh, way of measuring uh, impairments in uh, transmitters and receivers. In the past, uh, people were more um, uh, focused on noise figure and phase noise and uh, linearity measures like uh, uh, 1dB compression and IIP3. And all these parameters are important today, but the nice thing about EVM is that it is a very compact uh, and inclusive way of measuring all the impairments uh, on the constellation map that is uh, uh, more relevant to, to uh, OFDM, to the new uh, modulation schemes that came um, in, uh, in recent 15-20 uh, years. Um, and we're not, uh, we're not uh, employed before. So that's why we see more people uh, doing communication asking about EVM and uh, don't care about the different components about the EVM because uh, the, uh, the total uh, error is what, what's important today to, uh, um, to communication engineers rather than the specific noise figure or linearity or phase noise and we will explain this soon. Um, also, uh, EVM is important because it contains both amplitude and uh, phase error uh, in QAM signals. And uh, the last point is that uh, it covers the potential impairment from, uh, from mixing of the in-band subcarriers themselves. So it's not only uh, uh, blockers or spores or uh, noise figure uh, that can come from, uh, from uh, uh, or phase noise that can come from external sources, but also the, uh, the subcarriers themselves can impair each other. And we will uh, explain uh, later on an example of how they can degrade the linearity of each other. A uh, simple way to, to, uh, to understand it is just to think about peak to average uh, that is created by the different subcarriers. And of course, if we, uh, if we don't uh, have uh, um, linear enough uh, systems, the, the different subcarriers are actually uh, impairing each other.